So people are asking me questions about framing their art. Frame can really make or break the art. Well, I don't frame my art, so... <laughs> so what's your stance? Don't do it! Uh, Let the customer do it. Yeah. Bobby's Tips for Artists because he loves you. Hola, you amazing artists. So I've got several questions from Linda Lopez, Shanna Hathaway, and Tim B. Tell me your thoughts on framing our art. If it is on stretch canvas, should we frame it? If it is on boards, do I frame it? I have some on heavy paper. Do I frame it? I paint acrylics, not oil. Does that make my art less valuable? Sorry to bombard, but I love your honesty and your clarity and humor. Oh, and what are your thoughts on level three, two, one canvas boards? Does this lessen its value? Let's say if I paint a beautiful painting on level one canvas instead of Evelyn three, which is thicker. Ah! Linda, you need to calm down. That's that's too many questions. I thought for sure she was gonna say level three wizard rank. Level three wizard rank does not make your painting less valuable. No, it certainly does not. Not at all. Shanna Hathaway asks, should it be framed? And Tim B asks about the final presentation of your piece, which has a lot to do with framing or painting the edges and stuff. So I'll give you guys my opinion. So do I personally frame my art? No, I do not. I've had pieces that I've created that have been in frames, but that's because the frame was part of the subject matter of the art itself. But other than that, as far as like framing my art for presentation, not necessarily. I mean, a lot of the shows that I do, it's not really something that needs to be framed. So this is one of my expression pieces. And if you look at the edge here, the edge pretty much is finished with the piece. I think Tim paints his edges one single color, which is fine as well. I've done that with some of my pieces. For the most part, I like that my piece wraps around the canvas. That way, if you're standing on one side of the room, the artwork will actually start to come together. See, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what you want your artwork to do. You want your artwork to be like, whoosh. As far as I'm concerned, the frame is more something that your collector should get. Once you start delving into like putting frames on your work, unless it is relevant to the actual artwork, the frame just kind of becomes an add-on that helps tie it together with whatever room the person is putting it in. You'd have to deal with like frame color, you'd have to deal with the rest of the furniture and decor that's in their room, what style the frame is gonna be. So I just, I don't concern myself with that if somebody wants to buy a piece and frame it that's up to them i personally don't see it as adding to the artwork itself the artwork should be able to speak for itself and like i said before the only time that a frame is relevant is if the frame is part of the artwork so that's my thoughts on framing your work. As far as painting the edges and having a finished piece, that is something that is important to me, that the piece is finished. So for some pieces, the edges may not require painting because it's part of the piece, but as far as having a finished piece, it means that the entire piece is finished and done very, very deliberately. Not that you don't paint the edges because you just don't want to. Don't wanna. <laughs> Linda, and as far as like the canvas that you use and the materials that you use, that is important as far as cost is concerned, but only due to the quality of the piece that you are creating. Obviously you wanna use the best materials that you can because you want the longevity of the piece to be relevant. The way that you wanna set up your pricing is more so on what the demand is for the piece and what you believe is fair. Yeah, and most people have no idea what you're talking about when you're describing the technicalities of the materials. Yeah. We're yeah. like, cool. Will it hang? <laughs> Shanna asks if it depends on the size whether or not I frame them. And as I've established, Shanna, I do not frame my artwork no matter what size. In fact, the bigger that the piece is, the thicker the stretcher bars are, and it just looks better without a frame. Now, that's not to say that it will look better without a frame in every single environment, but that all depends on the person who's buying it. If they have all framed artwork in their house and the piece would look better with a frame that matches those frames, then that's up to them. If you're looking at a piece and the edge aren't finished and it's not really completely done and you're thinking like oh it needs a frame or it needs this or it needs something to me if it needs something then it doesn't feel finished to you don't concern yourself with what 
other people consider finished. Concern yourself with what you consider finished and how excited you are about that piece. Because then when you're showing that piece and you are talking and describing that piece to somebody, that excitement just comes out and that's part of the presentation. So in my presentation of my artwork, I finish the edges of the canvas appropriately to whatever the subject matter is of the piece and I varnish every single piece. If I need something to be matte and not varnished, I may leave it that way, but eventually, just because it doesn't feel finished to me, I end up varnishing it anyway. All my pieces are very clean and the edges are finished and they are ready to hang pretty much. Like I've got my stretcher bars with my hooks and everything on the back and they are ready to go. Somebody could buy it from me, take it home and put it right up on their wall. So to close this argument, personally, I do not frame any of my pieces unless a frame is relevant to the artwork itself. I paint the edges of the pieces, I varnish every single piece and I make sure that there's a mounting so that the person could buy the artwork from me and go home and hang it right away. What you do have is a relationship with a frame shop that you can recommend to folks. That's true. And that way, if they want to get the artwork frame, I have the perfect frame shop for them to take the artwork to. Thank you so much, Linda, Shanna, and Tim for the question on framing and presentation of your work. Hopefully I answered all your questions. If I missed anything, let me know in the comment section. And if any of you have any questions about art or life or anything, you can leave those in the comment section as well. Also, leave me your opinion on framing your art because uh, like I said, it's my opinion. I don't frame my art. So if you have a different opinion on it, let me know and let's get into a conversation about that. My opinion is my <clears throat> art didn't do it. It was framed. <laughs> get it? Get it? Because <laughs> I didn't do it. <sighs> I'm sorry. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are totally freaking awesome. I absolutely adore you. And if you like this video and you'd like to watch more like this, go ahead and click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Klee. Good day. Adios.